Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to another uh, hunting adventure. So, yeah, so the, on this trip, what I'll be doing is mostly I'll be um, I'll be walking through uh, what I usually do um, when I hunt on public land. You know, what are the basic steps that I that I follow? Uh, it's just purely based on my own experience. It, you know, others might have a different opinion and others might have a different approach to it. But this is something that I have developed by, uh, for myself. And, uh, you know, it has, uh, it has worked for me. Uh, but, yeah, it's like, but no one can ever guarantee uh, success on public land because you're um, up against, uh, you know, different odds like you know um hunt you know other hunters and you know and uh you know other other aspects as well so anyways uh i've done a bit of uh scout online scouting of some of these areas and i have identified some good transition points where i think that deer might be held so uh it's no guarantee, but it's always better to come with a plan rather than just, you know, coming to a forest and and uh, thinking that you might bump into them. So it's always come, good to come with a, a, a plan so that once you're here, you can always change, you know, your plan when once you're here, but, you know, adapt to it. But, you know, it's always good to start, uh, have a good starting point. And that's what I've done. I've chosen an area which which has a good transition between natives and pines and it runs along a creek which in my uh, you know experience are very very productive areas um, so inshallah uh, we're gonna just reach the forest uh, my flight got delayed uh, for a couple of hours so um, sadly there's no sleep for us uh, we're just gonna straight away uh, change and uh, um, it's uh, sunrise in, is it about half an hour or so so there's no point uh, resting so we're just gonna straight away head out and let's see inshallah um, deer or no deer uh, I'm just happy that I'm here, out here inshallah if we get something I'm happy if we don't get something at least I'm out here again back again doing what I love to do every day uh, all right then I'll keep you guys posted all right see you then so it's about 15 minutes before sunrise a legal time to hunt and this is the perfect time to start it's always better to um, reach your spot when it's still a bit dark so that you know we are we reach there on time and then by the time it's fully daylight then you don't miss them because this is the time when they start crossing and start getting into their bedding areas. So start early and reach your spot early. It's important to approach your area from the right direction as well. So all of these things need to be considered and planned before you come rather than reaching and then trying to figure out where to come from. So we have done all the pre-planning and, uh, and that's how we try to increase our probability. It's not about getting a deer every time, but it's always about increasing the probability of getting a deer. We've had a, quite a action-packed morning. Um, as soon as we got down into the gully, there was sign everywhere, and uh, we bumped into a couple of deer. 
one of them did give a a chance but it was a spiker and it was right behind a branch and I just I could see its head but I didn't want to take a chance shooting it anyways uh, um, we're gonna head back now head back to the car and uh, re-strategize you know what we're gonna do for the rest of the day maybe scout some new areas uh, for the evening session man uh, came so close a uh, couple of times it was just not meant to be I guess uh, it's all right that's uh, hunting it's all part of hunting all right onwards and upwards inshallah fingers crossed very old sound Yeah, quite a few paths from here, but very old. I've just reached another patch of ground that I had scouted online. And we're just seeing if there are any movement here. We're not really hunting as of now, but we're just looking if there, if we do find some movement. So. You can see this clear game trail that is going through all the way straight. <sighs> Looks like a heavily used game trail. So the way I do it, so the first how first half hour in the morning, I um, basically sit and wait on these these type of heavily used game trails. It's not just the game trails. If I'm seeing a lot of footprints and and deer droppings in this area as well that means they are hanging around or maybe eating in this area that's another sign so it's just uh, not random we're trying to connect the dots here by putting all these points on our map and then try to make a pattern and then the next time you come you can come with a, you can come better equipped with all this information so, as you can see, this look at that. It's, it's this clear cut game trail that is going all the way through into that from the native native plantation to that um, eucalypt um, where there is a creek as well. So, very productive. So we just came back from scouting some areas and uh, we found some good um, productive areas where. We think there might be deer moving in there in there uh, so we'll probably be heading in one of those areas this afternoon S slightly disappointed no doubt about it uh, because uh, i should have uh, you know, been more um, cautious of uh, you know when i was heading in that area it's only you know, subconsciously I was like, oh, this is the first time I'm in here. Uh, I just had scouted that area online and, you know, I was just looking more down, looking for sign rather than, you know, looking up. Sometimes we we do, we, we get so much involved in, you know, the signs that we just forget to, you know, also look up. But anyways, uh, it's good news that there are deer there. Definitely, we saw them saw two of them we bumped into two of them but just couldn't um, get a chance to shoot not gonna give up definitely not gonna give up gonna try hard harder and harder definitely that's uh, that's the beauty of hunting that's uh, the harder you try the bigger tr bigger the price it's about what what it's uh, two ten past two right now so it's not really prime time but uh, we're just gonna yeah, head out back into those areas that we scouted. There's a creek that runs across that area over there. And what we did, and it led us to this wide open country, short pine. Now suddenly it's just now, what happens is now you can start putting in some patterns here. You can start developing some patterns over here. Um, so there's a creek there. There's food source over there. There's food source over here. 
And now what you need to do is to see where are they crossing this point? Where are they coming from there to here at this point? So now what we have done, we were just walking this, this track. And now we start seeing this sign. Now that's, it's a bit old, but nonetheless, it tells you, it starts putting a picture together that they might be crossing, they might be getting into this area where they are bedded. And we just bumped into a couple of deer again over here. So now we, I'm now starting to paint a picture here that they might be feeding in the night over there or somewhere wide over there in the private property over there. And they are coming through this open country into this pine. So that's how we start developing patterns. Not assuming that you're gonna shoot every time, but it's about increasing the probability that every time you come, you have a higher chance of getting it because now you know you have a pattern. And now while I'm just walking through this area, I'm seeing so many footprints along this road. So so this this is gold. So this this information is actually gold. And you can use this to your advantage. And that's the reason I always stress on scouting. You know, you can't do enough of scouting. Just you know, it's I can't say that enough. I might have I might be sounding like a broken record, but the more you walk, the more you you scout an area, you get to know the animal pattern and the behavior and the terrain. And that's higher chance for you to um, be successful. That is very promising, not very old. Oh man, we are so close to them. I can almost smell them. There is so much sign here, so much sign. This is a classic example of a bedding area. There's a valley. There's, they have a cover through that valley from there. They have cover from that valley over there. And there is a nice shaded place next to water. And look at this. Flat area with full of footprints. Classic, classic bedding area. The way they choose their bedding area is they can, you can see from here, they have a view of every direction from everywhere. So if there is any threat coming, they would be able to see it even before we see them. Perfectly hidden space. SubhanAllah. And this is not even old. They are still wet 
All right, let's move on. I don't know if I shot it. I couldn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> it, it dropped actually. It dropped as well, it dropped. You sure? Yeah, yeah, we need to wait here. Don't chase it. Let's wait for a while. No, we can move back. <sighs> I knew where it dropped. I just no, I just saw it. I was just I just saw its eyes. No, and I had to I had to take a quick shot. Yeah, yeah, no, I saw you hit I, it. Did it drop or did it run? It dropped. I mean, it it kind of like dropped and it started running in in the pine. I think. But let's wait here. Don't don't because it might it might we might spook him. So it might fall somewhere in the pine somewhere. Shit. But it's getting dark, man. What do we do? We'll have to look. We can't leave it. Yeah, it's gonna be tough search. Let's just wait for five minutes and then yep. go have a look. <sighs> Guess what, guys? Last light shot this and it's a nice buck small spiker but ah oh, good eater man oh man oh finally <laughs> Shai, bye. i need a hug i need a hug man <laughs> oh it took us so long ah oh, this was a total one hour job from the time we took the shot it's already dark Oh, but it was worth it. It was worth it. A great man once said, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love this life. I love this. Oh, he's, he's beautiful. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. He is absolutely gorgeous. Good neck shot. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's head back now. Oh, so, alhamdulillah, we're back to the camp. Um, we have uh, cut up the deer and we have hanged it with the skin. We're really, really happy, really thrilled, but really tired as well. We walked for about, uh, I think, more than 12 kilometers. Uh, stalking and stalking and stalking. Um, every time we came close to it, I thought, uh, you know, I'm gonna see it any moment. So, yeah, it was uh, really exciting. Uh, can't, no, I have no words. Anyways, let's let's do this. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. Then see ya. In part two of this hunting adventure, watch how me and my friends explore new hunting grounds and put our pre-hunt plans into action. You don't want to miss this one as I provide hot tips on how to maximize your chances of spotting a deer before they spot you. Join me in an engaging and informative session that will equip you with the necessary knowledge to become a successful and responsible public land hunter.
you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out Khan Adventures' main channel linked here. This channel also features some other fantastic Australian hunters. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with all of our adventures. And finally, if you want to learn more or join the Australian Hunters Club, click on the link above. We'd love to welcome you into our community.